Hello and welcome to Dr. JB's sleep series, clip 5. In this clip, I'd like to talk about aging and sleep. The biological world we belong to is thrilling, just absolutely thrilling. So as we know, there is a growing body of evidence that links poor sleep with many adverse health outcomes, especially decline in cognition in older adults. While we age, sleep difficulties become a main concern and you hear that from a lot of uh, friends or family members who are aging. So poor sleep can contribute to reducing quality of life in people above 65. So sleep and the immune system is a challenge. The age-related functional decline in the immune system is both a consequence and cause of the sleep impairment observed in the elderly. This is certainly a very interesting and important question. Do older people need less sleep? Now, according to the National Institution on Aging, it is considered a myth that older people require less sleep than younger individuals. Many older adults have a hard time getting the sleep they need, but that doesn't mean they need less sleep. The amount of sleep that a person needs can decrease from infancy to adulthood, but this trend appears to stop around the age of 60. Let's look into some of the sleep parameters. What about sleep timing? Sleep timing assessed by bedtime, wake time or mid-sleep shifts towards an earlier time with aging even after 60 years of age. So older people go to bed earlier in the evening and wake up approximately one to two hours earlier in the morning than younger adults. What about sleep duration? Now in general, the total sleep time decreases with age, that is from childhood to older adulthood. In one study, authors reported that Average nighttime sleep duration got shorter over age. So young adults had 10.5 hours, middle aged 9.1 hours, and older adults 8.1 hours. Now, another study showed that total sleep time decreased about 8 minutes per decade in males and 10 minutes per decade in females. What about sleep initiation? Now, people commonly assume that the ability to initiate sleep declines significantly with age. However, current evidence suggests that both sleep latency, that is a term used for the length of time it takes you to fall asleep, and the ability to fall back to sleep after nocturnal awakenings demonstrate minimal increases after age greater than 60 years of age. Now, results from another two studies, for example, even suggest that though sleep latency does increase with age, the magnitude of change is very modest. What about sleep efficiency? Sleep efficiency is interesting because it is the ratio of total sleep time to time in bed. So you can be lying in bed for 10 hours, but you actually sleep for 8 hours. So a uh, good sleep efficiency is 85% and above. So sleep efficiency remains largely unchanged from childhood to adolescence and significantly decreases in with age in adulthood. Differences from all other sleep parameters that hold steady after the age of 60 
Sleep efficiency continues to decline very slowly with advancing age. How about maintaining sleep or sleep maintenance? So, aging from birth to older adulthood is associated with decreased ability to maintain sleep, which presents as the increasing or increased number of arousals and longer duration of wake after sleep onset vaso. This also tends to plateau after the age of 60. So a recent study reported a steady 10 minutes increase of wake after sleep onset per decade of age from 30 to 60 years. So wake after sleep onset remains main mostly unchanged after the age of 60. How about sleep stages? If you want to know a little bit more about sleep stages, please go through one of my clips that I have posted earlier. In general, deep sleep, that is slow wave sleep, decreases with age in the adult population. So during nocturnal sleep, that is sleep during night, the proportion of NREM stage 1 and 2 increases with age and the proportion of slow wave sleep and REM sleep decreases with age. Now slow wave sleep is deep sleep, very important. So some reports indicate that men may be more prone to age related slow wave sleep than women. What about daytime napping and daytime sleepiness? Daytime napping is a daily routine for many people across the lifespan and very common in many cultures. A recent study using 7,664 people aged between 20 and 99 found that a higher proportion of older adults take frequent naps of more than four days per week than young adults of 11.9% and middle-aged adults. Age-related changes in the circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm is very important biologically speaking. If you wish to know a little bit more about circadian rhythms, please go through one of my earlier clips. Circadian rhythms become less robust with aging, which typically presents as an advance in circadian timing. So the timing of going to sleep and starting the day changes and shifts with older people. The suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is called the master clock, is the central endogenous pacemaker that regulates the 24-hour circadian rhythm. The disruption in this rhythm with advancing age may be associated with a progressive decline in the function of the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Now the ability to phase shift decreases with age. So older adults are subject to more difficulties in adjusting to phase shifts such as shift work and jet lag. We also see some changes in hormones in the aging. So let me mention one or two of them. Growth hormone. Now growth hormone secretion has a direct or indirect impact on slow wave sleep, that is quality sleep or deep sleep, and may be partially responsible for the observed reduction of slow wave sleep in the aging. How about cortisol? Now cortisol goes up in the morning, wakes us up in the morning and drops to a physiological low in the evening when melatonin takes over. So there is a, a, an elevated nocturnal cortisol level which may contribute to the decreased slow wave sleep and frequent awakenings during nocturnal sleep in older adults. What about melatonin? the hormone of darkness. Now, melatonin secretion decreases with aging, but data melatonin, which is already at a low basal level, may remain unchanged with aging. 
What is important is that studies suggest that age-related decline in melatonin contributes to the increased sleep disruption in older adults. So there are many changes that happen during aging and sleep. So there is sleep disruption. Like quality of sleep drops, the timing changes, the circadian rhythm also shifts as well as there are shifts in certain hormones like cortisol, growth hormone and melatonin. But research has shown that older people can take steps to improve their sleep. These steps can, over time, involve focusing on improving sleep hygiene and developing habits that encourage sleep, quant sleep quality. Rather. So what are these steps? Exercise. Older people who exercise regularly fall asleep faster, sleep longer and report better quality of sleep. As well, reduced bedroom distractions. Very important. Television, cell phones, bright lights can make it more challenging to fall asleep. Research also shows that one needs to avoid substances that discourage sleep such as alcohol, tobacco, caffeine and even large meals late in the day. Keeping a regular sleep schedule. Remember that aging makes it more difficult to recover from lost sleep. So avoid sudden changes in sleep schedules. As well, develop a bedtime routine find activities that help you relax before bed. Many old or older people enjoy a bath, reading or finding some, some time quiet before going to bed. And here are some steps to consider for a safer night's sleep. 1. Keep a telephone by the bed with a fast dial to a very important number. Make sure a light is within reach. As well, reduce hazards in the bedroom.